be able to tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I'm nowhere near as much of a happy camper about my recent Henry purchase as I was to begin with. I just got this rifle back today for the third time after it was sent to Henry for repairs for light primer strikes. It's a really nice rifle. I love the rifle. It's very accurate. I got no complaints about that part. The complaint I have is that it's a really nice and accurate rifle when it shoots. I bought this rifle back before Christmas, uh, like December the 16th, I think is when it was. I've always wanted a Henry, just couldn't really justify pretty much $1,000 for such a niche or niche gun. Uh, but I finally decided, hey, I like to hunt in these mountains. Uh, I like to be mobile, I like to be on the ground. And a lot of this stuff, as you can tell looking behind me, is thick as a hair on a dog's back. So when you're walking around and you're scouting and hunting and you got a rifle with a scope on it, you spot a deer or a hog, by the time you can get it in the scope, it, a lot of times it's well, gone. I decided to buy a Henry Big Boy 44 Magnum with a brass receiver. Really nice gun, and I am tickled to death with it. But like I said before, when it's taking this thing out of the box now for the first time since I got it back for the third time. And the previous two times, they claimed the bolt was replaced, the action was replaced, the magazine tube was replaced. Why the magazine tube, I don't know. But we'll see. The problems I was having was when I would try to cycle the rifle, one out of every 10 rounds would jam. And then when I did get on the cycle, out of 60 rounds, 26% of them misfire. As you can tell, I'm not shooting junk ammo in this thing. Although I also had a box of Winchester white box that I was shooting in there. And Henry said that might be part of the problem, problem I'm referring to is light primer strikes. And it was 26% of the bullets that I fired, regardless if they were Barnes, if they were Underwood or if they're Winchester white box. Without having to go through all the monotonous details, I just received it back for the third time I sent it to them for the same problem. Now, Henry customer service, they're really nice people, very apologetic. I mean, it's, it's great. At this point though, uh, I have decided if we still have the problem, I'm taking it back to the gun store here near where I live and I'm gonna send Henry an email. I'm gonna demand a refund. This rifle has gotten to the point now I'm gonna have to shoot these two boxes of bullets I got. And I have four more boxes ordered, which I probably should have waited on to see if these shoot first. And I'm gonna have to shoot this thing a while before I can trust it. The same book this whole season up here in the mountains. And he survived because I got him on camera and it's, po it's post season now. I'm, I'm filming this in early February, 2023. And also the mountains I hunt in, in Western South Carolina, Western Georgia and Western North Carolina have a pretty high population of bears. And I've been once bluff charged and two times charged by rather large bears. And if I'm hunt hunting, in these mountains, I want to know I got something that if I need to use it for self-defense or hunting or whatever the occasion is, that it's at least going to shoot. Bring me back to this. I'm going to set this thing up. I'm going to go get my Caldwell lid sled to set it in and get another table so I can uh, rig up my iPhone to record this. And so I have some sort of more proof of what's going on. I'll be as right. As far as the rifle goes, the rifle is gorgeous, man. I mean, it's, it's everything I want it to be. The fit and finish, wood to brass, everything about this thing is spot on. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever about anything but the shooting. Always remember you're here in protection, boys and girls. All right, I'm gonna just simply shoot this thing on camera and see if we have any misfires or light primer strikes. Here we go.
far so good. All right, that was 10 rounds of Underwood 240 grain jacketed hollow points. Now I'm gonna shoot Barnes Vortex 225 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's see how it does. far so good all right now i got 10 rounds staggered uh barnes vortex 225s and the underwood 240 hollow points we're going to go through 10 more rounds after 30 rounds i'm going to feel pretty good about this So there you have it. In summary, it looks like the third time's a charm. Got my Henry in its new home. I am tickled to death. I'm gonna keep testing, get it to the point where I know I trust it, but I feel pretty good about it now, right, folks. I was a little, a little perturbed about this situation, but you gotta understand, you gotta be understanding. You expect more out of a company with a reputation of Henry, but their customer service was spot on. They did work diligent with me. I'm happy. Sorry for the crappy quality. You can tell it got a whole lot darker since I last talked to you. But I ran to the gun store right quick and bought a 50 round box of Cellier and Below. I think B-E-L-L-O-T. I've never really shot their ammo anymore. I went through that 50 rounds before it got dark. And so that made it a grand total of 80 rounds. No failures, no misfires. No light primer strikes, nothing. So at this point, I feel pretty confident that uh, Henry's got it right this time. And uh, I just wanted to come back and let you guys know. I'll say the experience up until now has been kind of testing on my nerves, so to speak. But overall, uh, I'm glad, I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, should I have had these problems? No, but things happen sometimes. And my patience was a little thin anyway, so... You can take that for what it's worth. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I feel confident with taking this thing in the woods and slinging a 44 Magnum 240 grain bullet at a deer or a bear or whatever I need to. Uh, so anyway, that's the end of this. If you like this video, I know it's probably pretty crappy. I'm just getting started. I've got a, uh, I've got a GoPro Hero 9 ordered and I have another camera that I'm going to have ordered batteries for. Should be a little bit better quality. This is all of an iPhone uh, going forward. But I'm only going to make videos about truthful things and what I think about things and stuff that will help you guys out. And I'd appreciate it if you'd comment and let me know things that might help me up. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching and have a good one.